How to Condition Water for Betta Fish We all know that betta fish need to have conditioned water to live. So, how to condition water for betta fish? The easiest way is with a dechlorinator. A dechlorinator, or water conditioner, is cheap and makes tap water immediately safe for bettas. Chlorine and Chloramines The primary cleaning agents in tap water that have adverse side effects on fish are chlorine and chloramines. These are dosed at low levels into the water and are very effective at killing harmful bacteria and disease-causing pathogens. They are dosed at such a low level that they are harmless to humans. However, fish are significantly smaller than us. A betta may have less body mass than your thumb. So the levels of chlorine in the water are enough to be toxic or lethal to these fish. A common form of chlorine that you may be more familiar with is bleach. Of course, the level found in tap water is nowhere near the level of bleach. But when you consider something as small as a betta, the level is more comparable to bleach. Chlorine is very easy to remove. And all water conditioners should be able to remove it. Chloramine is a bonded form of chlorine and ammonia, which makes it much more difficult to remove. Secam Prime is one of the best dechlorinators, as it removes chlorine, chloramines, and neutralizes some level of ammonia and nitrite, as well as certain heavy metals. This means that it can save your fish if your tank crashes. In addition, once the bonds holding chloramine together break down, this releases ammonia, which is toxic or lethal to your fish. Secam Prime will prevent it from doing any damage. How to use tap water conditioner As previously mentioned, tap water conditioner is very easy to use. However, you should keep in mind that overdoing can cause toxicity issues with your fish. Many water conditioners come with some sort of built-in measuring instrument, normally the cap. Some of the caps have measured areas for milliliters. Some ask you to measure by the threads of a screw on cap and others may require a pipette. Be sure to always read the instructions when you get a new bottle of water conditioner, even if it is the same brand. Most brands have different levels of concentrated products, even if the branding and product look the same. In addition, some water conditioners contain more than just a dechlorinator. For example, as previously mentioned, Secam Prime can detoxify ammonia and nitrite, as well as rendering some metals harmless. Well water. Bettas come from very soft, acidic water, with some bettas living in water with a pH as low as 3. Normal tap water ranges from 6 to 7.5 pH and is typically soft or moderately hard. Which is still a good range for the average betta. However, well water normally sits around 8 to 9.5 and ranges from hard to very hard. Similar to how some bettas specialize in living in extremely soft water. Some other fish specialize in living in very hard water. This makes well water perfect for some species, but nearly unlivable for bettas. Unlike chlorine, there is no easy solution to removing minerals from water. Reverse osmosis units are used by hardcore fish keepers. But these can be tricky to install and can cost several hundred dollars. In addition, the water produced does not contain any minerals at all which is also unsuitable for bettas, as they require more than plain H2O. You must remineralize reverse osmosis water. And while remineralizers are easy to control and not too expensive, it is more work than most people are willing to deal with. Bottled spring water is a good alternative to well water but you must test the hardness and pH before getting a betta. You must remineralize bottled distilled or reverse osmosis water if you plan to use it.